Okay, so this is writing a quadratic equation given three points. So we're going to do a step-by-step -step process. So step one is find C. Well, C is the y-intercept, so that's four in this case. It's when x equals 0, y equals c, right? So that's easy, and I think you guys know that one. Step 2 is to substitute points and write two linear equations. So this is when I substitute the coordinates that I have, 2, 14, and negative 1, 2, in, and end up with two equations that look something like a constant equals something times a plus something times b. The order that you do these two things in really doesn't matter. So my equation is in y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So that means I'm using this y, 14 equals, and this x, a times 2 squared plus b times 2, plus c, which I know to be 4. And I'm going to simplify this. 14 equals 4a, plus 2b, plus 4, subtract 4, subtract 4, 10 equals 4a, plus 2b. I'm going to do the next one using the other point. So I'm going to use this y and this x. So I'm going to get 2 equals negative 1 squared a plus negative 1 b plus 4. And I'm going to simplify that. So 2 equals negative 1 squared is negative is positive 1, so that's just a plus negative b, so I'll make that a minus. And I still have the 4. I'm going to subtract the 4 from both sides. I get negative 2 equals a minus b. And so now I have my two equations. Here's 1. And here's the other. Scroll down a little bit. Now I'm going to do a system of equations. Step three, solve the system of equations. So I have 10 equals 4a plus 2b, and negative 2 equals a minus b. None of my coefficients match, but I do have a negative right here and a positive here, and so I could choose to multiply the second equation by 2 and do nothing to the first equation. Remembering to multiply the whole thing. This becomes negative 4. 2 times a 
is 2a minus 2 times b is 2b. So it's these two equations that I'm now going to add. The plus 2b and the minus 2b are going to add to 0. The 2a and the 4a are going to add to 6a. And the 10 and the minus 4 is going to be 6. And a is going to equal 1. I can substitute that a into any one of my linear equations. And so I'll pick the easiest one. That was negative 2 equals a minus b. And so I'm going to put a in. Negative 2 equals 1 minus b. Subtract 1 from both sides. Negative 3 equals negative b. So b equals 3. So now I've got both A and B. Here's A. Here's B. And I'm going to rewrite my equation. y equals a is 1, so it's x squared, b is 3, plus 3x, three and c is still 4, plus 4. And that's it. You're done. Now, you can check, compared to the original numbers, which were all the way up here, 2, 14, and negative 1, 2. 2, 14, and negative 1, 2. And those should both work, right? So 2 squared plus 3 times 2 plus 4. 2 squared is 4. 3 times 2 is 6. That's 10 plus 4 equals 14. That works. Negative 1 squared plus 3 times negative 1 plus 4. Negative 1 squared is 1, plus negative 3, or 1 minus 3, plus 4. 1 minus 3 is negative 2, plus 4 is 2. So that works. So we're good. So what you're going to do as a practice is the following. So those are your three points, 0, negative 2, 3, 22, and negative 2, negative 8. So give that a shot. Hope that was helpful.